I'm here with Ken, and today he's come up with not one, not two, but three different ways to make side tables unlike any other, and I'm telling you, you're amazing. Oh, That's the bottom you. line here, thank folks. You. That's my big takeaway. Well, this is something anyone out there who's been looking at the magazines and looking online, this has been quite chic now for quite a few years, and I thought now's the time to tell you all how you can do it at home, cost barely anything, and it's really fun. It's one of those things that adds real character to a room or to a home. Absolutely. When you look at these, you just think character, and there's history, and there's stories. Exactly. And there's if these suitcases could talk. Right. Where do you find them? Like, where would somebody find if you don't have them at home? Sometimes you yeah, look up in your attic or yeah. basement, first of all. Second, go to any secondhand store, thrift store, and you can get them. You don't need super high quality leather ones. Those can be a little price, 75, 80 bucks. You can find inexpensive ones for like 30 bucks, wow. $20. Um, and what you're gonna end up with is gonna look a lot more than that. That's pretty impressive. So. Okay, so let's get started here. I know there's one common piece with all the different styles. Exactly. So we'll start with a common thread. What do we have first? What you wanna do, because these are all made differently, like this hat box is really made out of cardboard. Some are made out of leather, some are made out of vinyl. So yeah. what you need to do is give a real sort of structure because it will not have enough structure on its own. Plus gotcha. these things have been around the world multiple times. Yes. So if we can get this one open here, Beautiful. what you want to do is just cut a piece of wood, a piece of plywood. Okay. I find a half inch works best that is going to fit the inside. Now it doesn't have to be a perfectly snug fit, but big enough to to cover where your legs are. Got you. And what this does is this is what we're actually attaching all of the structure to. We're gonna sandwich the suitcase in between. So all of the suitcases, all the different tables that you're gonna show us all have this one common thread. Exactly, okay, very because good. what would happen if you actually put a screw through the suitcase itself or through this way, it's gonna pop through, the head's not gonna be enough, you're gonna move it, it's gonna come apart. So this will make it super, super steady. Okay, very good. Now, so, should we put this aside for a second? We're gonna put that aside for a second, okay. and I'm gonna talk you through the different ones. So let's talk about the trunk that's okay. over here to your left. Gotcha. So what I did for that, after I put that big piece of plywood in the bottom, all I got was this little set here that you can get at any hardware store. It's bun feet, and then this little plaque that goes on the inside. And all I did was screw the plaque on the bottom into the plywood on the inside, and then you simply screw on the little bun feet. You're done. That's great for an entry table. It makes table. a big difference. Just uh, like taking it, I was going to say elevating, but literally, literally elevating, elevating. Literally <laughs> elevating it a little bit makes a big difference. Okay, good. Exactly. And now for the one that I find is so adorable, this little one in between our blue chairs there. Yep. That, I use the hairpin legs. Like, if you all saw last week, I used these hairpin legs on the record album table. Exact same legs. Get them online. Very inexpensive. And all you're going to do is screw up through the bottom into that piece of plywood. It's Again, a really, very, really very good simple. look. Nice, clean, modern very clean look. I love modern. that. Just making sure that you get into the plywood, obviously. Now okay. for my now, favorite one. The favorite one. I really love a hat like box. It. Yes. Why don't people travel with hat boxes oh anymore? Yeah, I, I, if, if I only knew, I would have got you a hat box. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago, okay, and I didn't know. Okay. What I've got here is a table leg. You get this at any hardware store. Yeah. And I've got two more rounds. And okay. what we're going to do here is I'm going to ask you. Might try and do you, this even though? Yep. Oh, i got to put these on, those on yeah, for, for sure. me. Like I have mentioned many times, I need prescription ones of these. Anything up close, uh, you know, to my face, I barely can see. So wish me luck. Straight on down. And all we're doing is just one screw right in the center. There it is, yeah. Okay, we're going to flip that, that over, and we're going to do one screw Very right good. in the same. You can and basically definitely get that in there. Here we we're go. We're creating our own pedestal table here for this option. Okay. Boom. Very now, nice. Now, you're basically done. I wanted to give it a little bit more character. So I've got these little corner brackets. Nice. Again, you can get these. If you, we're just going to hot glue these on. Got it. You can get these at any hardware store, any craft store. They're not actually supportive, so you don't have to really worry about what size, just and find something that looks good. You want to go 180s, like you just kind of go opposite each other, exactly. so you know, did I do boom, the right side? Boom, and boom, okay. and we're just putting them on with hot glue, because again, this Very is purely good. decorative. So voila, mm -hmm. we have our own pedestal table base. You're gonna stain or paint that. I like, because the suitcase itself is a little rustic, yep. I like giving it a little bit more of a modern flair. I picked a color that works with our family room here. Very boom. nice, should we move it out front? Yep, and then all mm. we're gonna do, Put that there. Remember, we okay. have our little support in the center. Yep. And all we're going to do, if you want to help me out here, sir, you got it. is we're going to put a couple of, hold on, let me give you these smaller screws here, because oh. all we're going to do is sandwich it in there. You don't need oh, much. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. And i got to make sure I go in the right way here, yes. There you go. And we're just going to put that right through, and it's going to go through that base that we made into the other. And all you really need is two. Um, and that's gonna do it. What's great also about these tables, not only do they look good, but they 
serve great storage. You can do your um, your remote control, all those things that you don't want to see. I'm telling you, that's a pet peeve of mine. One of my favorite things about it, not only the way it looks, but also the fact, the fact that you've it, got storage. It's functional. It's amazing. There you go. You've done it again. Boom. You've done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Full instructions go to hallmarkchannel.com. And be sure to follow this amazing guy on his social media at Kenneth Wingo.